All right, boys and girls, this is James with Crawlers and Customs, and we're gonna take a quick look at the lift kit for the F450. Uh, some of these parts will change slightly in the production version, but I wanted to show everyone what this is about. So we're gonna take the body off. And front to back, stock servo is moved down with a one-piece bracket, preserving all of the stock geometry. The stock shocks have moved 40 millimeters down and are mounted now to the top of the chassis rail. There are a couple of standoffs uh, that lengthen the sway bar mounts. You can see stock geometry here and center of the chassis, basically everything's pushed down and mounted now 40 millimeters lower. Uh, same thing out back, pretty similar story. You got some standoffs for the sway bars if you wanna continue to run those. And then you can see this really large bracket that has repositioned the pan hard lower, and that preserves all of the stock uh, geometry and functionality. So the body mounts are all in the stock location. This is moved back slightly, but you got a lot of room for interiors if you wanna do that, and you got a ton of room for uh, full engine bay if you wanna detail that out. So this should be a bolt-on install. I'd say less than an hour for most guys. Uh, no special tools or knowledge. Uh, it's basically bolt all this stuff on, slide everything down, and go rip. I'll be posting a, a instructional video once I get a few of these kits out there. Also, this will likely change, so it'll be a panel that you can bolt in. If you just want to blank it out, you can, or if you want to show off the brand logo. All right, guys, thanks. You can check my Instagram, Crawlers and Customs, and I'll post some links up in this uh, video description. Uh, once I get these up onto the site. Thanks again. Have a good night.